Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Fire 4, Kaiserich as Egypt. Let us continue on for the last left off. So, we are getting some reforms. We're about to finally pass and get over Black Monday, which is great. And then we're going to do some reforms. And then the question is, do we want to keep on doing, like, these reforms here? I mean, they're just decisions. I don't know what they actually all do. They're like, they're all decisions. So I have no idea what they can possibly offer us. Or do we want to start going down the modernization program? The phase one is just a research speed plus 5%. Uh, for specifically industrial research. Which isn't very good. It's kind of eh. All you want on Nile is 3% stability. Getting the developing economy would be a lot nicer. 5% uh, more consumer factory goods. Uh, factory output and production cap go up. Two civilian factories would also be nice. Oil as well. Dockyards, military investments. Agriculture. All pretty, pretty good things. Lloyd Olson has been elected president of the United States. So that's probably... So we know that the Pacific states are not going to rise up. Because I believe they only rise up in the event of Lo uh, Long or Reed getting elected, and they did not. Just reform, bureaucracy reform. The problem with this is just that you just you don't know what you're getting. I mean, they are faster than only for 35 days as opposed to 56. But it could be anything. It could basically be absolutely nothing as well which would suck probably need more convoys that's what I'm thinking right now so let's get radio we know we're gonna be going to war in probably like a year's time but I feel like the faster you can attack the Ottomans probably the better we still, of course, need to wait for Nezh to actually win their civil war. Or Jabal. Whoever wins it doesn't really matter. Um, yeah, so we now do modernization program. We can also do, like, the army reforms. And these also give you... This give you bonuses to... The ones that we're not doing. Um, so... If that's the case, uh, don't... My brain is melting. Technology. Don't research this. Because apparently it's not worth our time. Go for Grand Battle Plan. Because apparently that's what we're going to get a, a bonus for. Naval Air and Air Forces. I don't really know if we care about that too much to begin with. Let's do like an administration ref ref like reform. We'll kind of give a, a gist for... If these are actually worth our time and effort, or if it's just better to go through the uh, industrial programs. Because oil, like resources, all those would be really nice. The like Egyptian steel. We can get that pretty quickly as well. It's only going to be four focuses. Nej, can you just win your war? I think I'll go for an offensive and infantry expert. Oh, beautiful. Some of the ones you want just right away handed to you on a silver platter. During the reign of Muhammad Ali, he demanded the whole of Egypt. Uh, no, but Ramadan ends. Do this position to can to fire the crack of dawn on the first day of Eid. Uh, today, cans have been heard throughout Egypt and the cities, the countryside. Be prepared to celebrate the end of Ramadan. So it looks like Indochina did win. Again, not that it really matters too much. I don't think Germany really gets involved in this part of the world. I mean, France did like their anti, like their colonial focus, but I guess it doesn't really affect us because we're nominally an independent nation. Nej has won, so good for them. Saudi Hegemony or the Land of Faith. This focus contributes to the outbreak of the Ikhwan Revolt. 
All I know. Do not hit Egypt. That would be very bad for us. Governorship reform. Okay, so. You are just... That, that's garbage. Mod modernization programs. Well, 3% party support? That's, like, meaningless, I would say. I'm just gonna make some better rifles. Uh, I, I'm gonna research transport ships. Just because I think we could probably use them to... You know, maybe attack, like, uh, Antalya up here. And try to push your way straight up north. Because I don't think the Ottomans... 33 to 41 divisions... I don't know, it's gonna be it's going to be a difficult fight, I think. A fight that we can hopefully win. But I think it's still gonna be a difficult fight. Um we can go up to limited conscription. I don't know if that's necessary. I think we just probably want somebody who is just flat attack bonuses. It's either that or we try to make our way go up to like 20% organization. So it's either we fight harder or we fight longer. And I think we're going to want to just attack harder. So let's just go 10% division attack. After this, we'll get the infantry bonus as well. I want to get back up to 150 political power. Which I don't believe you give us. You are just 5% industrial research speed. Kind of garbage. But once we can make our industry less garbage using the industrial plan... Things will hopefully start moving in uh, a positive direction. I don't know what German investment actually does. It's also only a 30 day fo 35 day focus, which is nice. Hopefully Germany will give some stuff. For our war with Germany, uh, the pa we, we cannot do that. That's understandable. But I don't see a way we'd be going to war with Germany in the next, like, three months. That seems pretty unlikely. The Cairo Pact is a 56 day focus. 35, 35, 35, 21. You immediately declare war on the Ottoman Empire. Reclaim the Suez. Does this let us join a Reich's Pact? I wonder if that actually does. Probably don't want to. Seizing the Suez seems pretty diff like dangerous. Oh, MacArthur did actually just take control. So never mind, we are going to see the four-way civil war. A lot of new land in Aleppo, Syria. Basically just taking over all of this. So we'll, we'll see. Who is going to win? My money is probably not on MacArthur, because I, I don't think... Have I ever seen him win? He, he basically never does. I wouldn't put a lot of hope into him. The Cairo Conference invitations. Who is interested in being in an alliance with little old me? We got Saudi Arabia. The pretty uh he's got a very long border, because since he has what, like eight divisions? Yeah, like eight. Not the strongest of the bunch. So I'm gonna debate economic proposals. Two more days on you. So we're going to go for industrialized industri industrial plan. It's just, I think, the best one we can do at the moment. Cairo Conference. Who shall the Ottomans be dealt How shall they be dealt with? And as our ambitions create friendly countries or split it amongst the various powers. Um, we're dividing up the... Con on the territory between various powers gathered here. Turn it up, we can propose to create new friendly states out of the ash of the empire. Probably don't want to announce that we're going to try to take all the land. Let's split it among the various powers. I feel like that's more likely for them to say yes. Like, we should all get a chunk. Because I say, oh, I want to take over everything, they'll probably just say no. Put 40 political power. Not enough for us to...
Uh, get a new uh, idea. A new staff member. It's gonna be 150 for him. I mean, what am I using steel on right now? Is it just for the boat? Because I don't care about the boat too much. Yeah, it's just for the boat. The boat really doesn't matter. Yes, everybody's clear to warn everybody else. We're not surprised by that. We still have like Fear Sensibility and War Support, which is really not great. But it could be a lot worse. 1756 days for you. And we're building our uh, support equipment even though nobody actually uses it right now. So you know what? We're going to cancel that. Put it back into rifles. I'll make a support equipment just down here though. I'd actually rather have the fighters I think in the support equipment because yeah, it's, it's, we have no units actually using them. We don't have guys to support artillery. Are we on deficit? No, we're just on a deficit for the rifles. And it's going to take like two years for us to actually get enough. But it's mostly just for new troops that we're training, not for the guys that are actually on the field. They're okay. It's everybody else that we might have some uh, problems with in the future. We got uh, 20 days, roughly, for our industrial plan to be ready to go. And you are... It's May, right? Yeah. So you'll be done in 21 days. So just before May starts. Probably just like wait off a little bit for us to get the Cairo Pact. Right now I have 30, 13 divisions. Not the best. Definitely not the worst. But not the best. Like I don't know how many troops are right here. We're going to be having to cross a river, which is going to be a little bit annoying. Do you guys like me at least? You're a negative 60. Why? You did not support Egypt's plans for the Ottomans. You did not support my plan for the Ottomans. Did anybody support my plan for the Ottoman Empire? And I'm supporting the old king. Okay. Well... Nobody supported me? My, my plan was to give everybody territory. How could he be mad about that? French other Jason has left Egypt. Does that matter? Do I care? I don't think so. Let's get out of here. Um, like what about Armenia? How do you feel? Different ideology? Fine. How about Ottomans? How do you feel about me? Probably mad that I've done the uh, declare support against the Ottomans. Understandable. I hope I didn't like screw this up by uh, nobody supporting me. Because if it's, if it's just me and uh, maybe Triple Otania, we we definitely cannot win that. Yeah, MacArthur's already lost DC. Good work there. But you'll be ready in like three more days. Which I don't, I don't think we're actually going to lose any points on it. Not that I can think, at least. Oh yeah, so we can't trade with the United States anymore because their steel is basically gone. We'll trade with France, but only like one factory. Because I, I don't care about the boat being built slowly. I would rather save... The one civilian factory to be something to be a little bit more useful. Uh, so let's get our... Attack and defense. Be a little bit better. 21 out of 45. So, at worst, the Ottomans double my... The amount of men I have. Are you going to ban Turkish political parties? I mean, that seems pretty good for me. It might get the, you at war with the Ottomans. Assuming that the Ottomans can actually go to war over that. I'm not sure if they can. I mean, they won't like you very much. And you've already joined the Entente. That's actually pretty fast for you. The Nicholas Revolutionaries have happened in Switzerland. Which means I believe that, yeah, they've been to France. So, I mean, that's going to help them definitely win. Oh, the Soviets have actually done terribly this game. 
I've actually have never seen the Soviets lose this quickly before. But I guess nobody else has declared war in Russia, so they can just focus their entire attention on them. Because normally, like, Finland or Alash, somebody declares war on them at some point. I'm guessing they just haven't. So Russia got off a little bit easier than they normally would otherwise. You guys are gonna, like, join my faction, right? Like... Not aligned, we're not at war. The Belgrade Pact has formed. And the Spanish Civil War is about to begin. And yeah, everyone joined the Belgrade Pact. Bulgaria, or not Bulgaria, Ottomans. You should declare war on Bulgaria as well. Because it'll make my life easier, I think. Sweden has joined the Reichs Pact. That means there's probably going to be like a front line here. Depending on if Finland joins the Third International, they probably will. I'd kind of be surprised if they didn't. We got another 10 more days. Tripolitania. Hopefully Tripolitania joins me. Uh, I, I definitely can't fight a two-front war. Let's build the military industry, like, down here. Because, again, it doesn't really matter where it is located. Just build, just build the factories, basically, as far away from the front line as we can possibly have them. Replacing the French ministers. The Minister of Propaganda. Yeah, we'll put the Minister of Propaganda in charge. That seems okay. I'm not too worried about that. We got uh, another research. Let's go for... What would help us the most? Probably just like efficiency cap plus 10%. Seems like an okay place for us to begin. If nobody joins the Cairo Pact, I'm going to be extremely sad. When is my... Yeah, you guys also prefer for like some sort of like naval invasion because we can't really attack all out this way. I think I might be the only one who's going to be a member of this faction. No, Saudi Arabia said yes. Thank you, Saudi Arabia. Even if you didn't agree with my positions, apparently. Me offering to give you territory apparently was not enough to entice you to want to join my faction. You know, I'm also going to have these three cavalry divisions. Fall back line into the port. So they can also help attack into uh, Jerusalem as soon as the war begins. We probably don't have, like, naval superiority over here, do we? Now, buying this into one fleet, because it's a pretty small fleet, I would, I think. We will naval support over here. Yeah, so this will attack whenever the war begins. I mean, you should already be, like, ready to go. It's going to take us a few more... Probably, like, two months, at least, until we want to actually declare war on the Ottoman Empire. Air Rebels. Egyptian Citadels. 14 to 54, like, every time we see it. No idea how many Ottoman troops there actually are. You have four to six divisions down here. Ten to fifteen. Like, I need your support, guys. I can't do this alone. Apress Revolutionary in 
Peru. What is that? Is that a... Okay, the Syndicate has taken over in Peru. Ottomans. You should just delete your entire army. Just literally put them all out to sea and drown them all so that when I attack you, there is no resistance. Because not facing resistance makes my life a lot easier. Uh, I don't know if you knew this or not. Coronation of Forwalk. 1% stability. Yay. <laughs> a little bit better than every, you know each passing day. Right now we're making a single plane per month. Isn't that just fantastic news? Might as well have you at 400. Fly over Egypt. Some air superiority, even though I'm sure you'll get immediately destroyed. I want... Idris. He's been defeated. That's awful. That's really bad for us. Um... How many men do you have, Triple Otania? Three divisions? Okay, well, the naval invasion plan is now called off. At least for now. Because apparently we cannot trust, uh, Triple Otania. I thought they would join our faction, but apparently, uh, they will not. Everything's kind of been going... ...poorly. What if we have, like, you here? Fine. This, this, you know, this is okay. It's a weird spot to find ourselves in. And I don't know if the Ottoman, or the, if, if Iran is actually going to support us in this war. I guess we'll find out at some point. Uh, when the war actually begins. But I think it's going to be an okay time to end this episode. So thanks everybody for watching. My name is Anthem. If you've enjoyed, run a thumbs up. Not to wait till you thumb down. If you want to see more, subscribe and goodbye.